everybody. It's Teresa Shaver here from the Business Advisory Center at Durham, and I'm happy to have Annie Hardock from ABS Abacus Brain Study with us today. Um, Annie has been a client of BACD probably for the last eight years or so, maybe even before I joined BACD. Yeah. So this is oh. wonderful to see how you, and we're going to hear about how um, Annie has been able to pivot the business. So welcome, Annie. Thank you, Teresa. Thank you for the opportunity. It's a pleasure. It's a big, big pleasure. So how, tell us a little bit about ABS Abacus Brain Study, what it is, what's the service you deliver, and I'd love to then move into, you know, how have you been able to pivot and, and uh, kind of adopt a new way of working during COVID? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Um, uh, ABS Abacus Brain Study, they deliver uh, as a mental math training program for children uh, from the age of 4 to uh, 12 years old. The main point is not just uh, getting them more superior in their math capability, but it's the brain development. That's why we train them at a very young age. Right. It actually helped them with their uh, focus and memory skills. And uh, the, uh, the point is building more of the synapses in their brain when they are still young. The, the circuits, right? The brain circuits, yes. building those points yes. so that... Because that's a window of opportunity is, uh, around the age 6 to uh, 12. Yeah. That's when the uh, brain development is happening. And uh, we included what we called is the high-speed listening training, too. But the program's been around in Canada since 1995. Right. right. So are there other places that do it, or is it just your business? Oh, no, no, no. Like for um, Abacus program, uh, for Canada, it, it was quite new in 1995. That's when the uh, founder of ABS Abacus Brain Study brought that um, system uh the training method from taiwan from taiwan because in asian country they have developed that method uh way long before um yeah we know good about. point very good point <laughs> yes so um for for me because my son had been trained in this method when he since he was six years old and it is a long-term program right. it takes about uh, four or five years to complete um so when my son um, finished grade 10 that year, that summer, I just told him to get a job or do something. <laughs> and it, it just happened that there's opportunity for him to start teaching this method in our right. small town in Uxbridge. It's a very small town in North Durham um, for do it in, in the summer. Yeah. So we did it for two months, but then all the parents want their kids to continue with our program because it is a long-term training program. So that's how we started. So it was exactly 10 years ago. It was exactly 10 years ago. So 2010 in the summer, that's when we started. So it's 10th of the 10th anniversary. <laughs> so lo and behold, did you know you were creating a business for yourself at the same time? No, no, no. I was starting, um, <clears throat> Uh, well, I had other business before, but um, this was just creating something. So I, I just thought, get my son just going, like, you know, on, uh, in the summer. Yeah. Right? But then because the enthusiasm from all the parents, and then we just thought, well, he still have two more years, at least, like before he goes to university. Let's see what happens. So what we did was, um, after the initial, like, uh, uh, summer, uh, we, we just rented a room. Um, so we actually look for location. Yeah. So we find, I actually, <laughs> because I have never, like I have always been home-based since 1996, my business. So I never get a location. So my assumption was, oh, the cost for rental is really high. Like we have to make sure that whatever we earn from teaching kids, because it's just a, a small window. It's just after school program. Right. So it's like during the day, there's no business. And then also on the weekend, right? right. Um, so I have to be careful, but I think if I never ask, I never knew, right? Because I did go and shop like for a, a few locations and some of them were way high, right? So I don't know, I forget about it, I, I wouldn't be. And then another one, like it's like a ground floor, like right in downtown walking distance. 
And I, I kind of just peeked through the window. I thought, nah, I don't know whether I can afford it, but I never heard. I ask, right? And then at that time, because they have been vacant for a long time, uh, for years that it was vacant, the space. Right. So I kind of got a deal, but it, it's still like it's a lot, right? Like to to pay for a new business that, sure. but I just have that um, a gut feeling, I guess, that right. I know I will make it work. Yeah. Um, so that's what we did. And we still have the office for like 10 years now. So right. Very cool. So tell me, I'm sh has your business been impacted by COVID? Yes, because we don't have kids coming. <laughs> right. Right? So all the schools are closed. All the schools were closed. Right. Um, so the after school program didn't work. So what happened was it just happened the the week um, right, right when the lockdown because the lockdown came so sudden too, right? Um, so I, I wasn't pre prepared. Um, sure. But at that time, initially, I was just looking for a solution for the business networking group that I have um, to continue running, like uh, be able to also connect with people online. Right. And um, I know like lots of people like in Durham region know about uh, Sue Sutcliffe and right. uh, she's in the um, digital world. And she kind of demonstrate um, like a virtual yeah. Uh, so, like, yes, uh, for conferencing, for networking. Yeah. I just look at that stuff and I evaluate it. I thought, well, I think I can use it as a virtual classroom. Right. Just because it has the ability to do like groups and also one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Right. Um, so I actually just tested it with my existing students. So we never even have a break. So right after the March break, I just use it. Um, and along with, of course, we have our online system. That's why it makes the transition a lot easier. Right. As the ABS um, Abacus Spring Study, we have our proprietary uh, software that children have been using. Uh, so the, the model that we work is like kids just come to us once a week, right. and then they have the online homework. Uh, right. right. Like in class, they also have in class online uh, exercises. So. So we com I combine the virtual classroom along with the on existing online system, and that makes it perfect. So I worked out all the um, fine tuning, all the details, like what um, normally doesn't really work, like especially if they're using a physical abacus, it would be difficult to watch what they're doing online, right? right. But because our system already have the digital um, abacus, and with the share screen feature, that's important. So I can uh, see what the kids doing just by asking them to um, do the share screen, either one on one or like I can demonstrate to the whole class, right? right? And uh, using the advocates. So I just thought the virtual classroom really help uh, with group classes, um, and also you'd be surprised how um, literate on the computer that all the kids are. I think there was so much. <laughs> Like then the parents, I'd say, okay, can you upload this and just get like printed, like certain things I need to, like, so I use, utilize the chat box too, right? Yeah. Um, uh, to upload and say, do these questions. Like certain things, I even do the um, exam. Like, you know, we, we do have a test and um, yeah, and, and it works. So whatever um, different tools, I was able to use it and um, yeah, get it going. That's awesome. So, so think, literally, you didn't miss a beat. Did you lose any customers through all, all of this? Or? Oh, yes. Yeah, yes. It's not all parents would go on, right? Yeah. Yes. Because uh, you did the first one, I like, you know, mm -hmm. that child has been with me for years, right? But unfortunately, he, like his, 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 his dad owns a restaurant, right? So the first week when I called him and he said, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, it's like she's been sitting for days. Yeah, what day is it now? <laughs> it's just like, right. yeah, I think it's upsetting when uh, someone has that um, business, right? So yeah. it's there's been a lot of... Um, yeah, so it's not everyone going on board, right? right? And then I also have, um, have been, for the past three years, been teaching at um, like a private school after school program. So that particular model... It's actually uh, the school provide uh, like the smart board and all the iPads to all the students. And I would go in to teach and um, 
So it's logic class, but I hired like an assistant with me, like a high school student with me to go in. So that portion of the uh, business, I couldn't go on because they, yeah, they are not taking any after school activities. So the spring right. term kind of is not happening to, to me. Right, on that. Right. Uh, uh, yes. Um, good question for you. You said that your superpower is to unlock the genius in within. So tell me a little bit more about why you think that's your, like, where did you come up with that idea? Yes, uh, because my son has been trained um, in this method when he was six. So by the time he was uh, 11, when um, the founder like in Toronto like, uh, of ABS Advocacy Spring Study opened up a couple of like, uh, branches in New York and my son went down to um, do the demonstration. Because normally, like, you know, I, I, being a single parent, I, I really don't follow what my son do. Like he was quite independent in doing his work. So I was surprised, like, right, because he was demonstrating like three digits times three digits. Like, and then there's like maybe 10 questions. And then he just write down the answer. It's faster than the, like, you know, putting in the calculator. And then I just saw other kids also doing it, right? So yeah. I thought, oh, so it's trained, not necessarily just because my son is special, like, very smart, right. because to others, they look like genius. Right, like they just pop and, and you just get it. Because I don't know how, like you know, if um, children still seeing numbers, like say three digits times three digits, that's a whole lot of processing to do, right? right. Like in the head, I don't even know, it, like even if this is possible. But our method is actually training children to visualize the beats movement on the abacus. So they have this movie clip moving and all the beats just moving and then they get the answers. That's why the methods work in like uh, visualize with visualization and focusing and really process, I don't know, how, you know, it's like instruction at a time. Right. Really okay, I guess so what that's what the genius is. But the genius is not just about math capability. It's about their um, ability to do the mental work to process the information. I don't right. care whether it's a math solution or what anything. It's the ability to process information, right? I have a problem now. Like, I can't even remember people's phone number because it's been just put on the phone, right? To yes. be an, an easy process. So the memory side, it suddenly becomes, like, very difficult. Right, something that we used to be able to to do, but if we don't use it, we, we kind of lose it. But also, it's the focus, like the ability to focus. So we, our method, like that. Why did it take so long for uh, like like five years to train this, to that skill set? Because the you know when uh, children, you know their focus, right? Like some like, but to train them to get it longer, 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 like duration even for for adult is hard right like get them yes. like 15 I minutes for, for it is very difficult right and you ask them to do just um you know like a, a minute yeah lots of them can do it but can you hold that attention for a longer time right so it's a skill set that we're training we're not just like we, we we're actually not a tutoring we're not following like a curriculum we use the basic addition to uh, subtraction multiplication and division to train but using that to uh, activate the genius the brain, within. <laughs> the brain work yes it's the brain work that's why I call it the genius uh, within actually it was I, I still remember what how we got that unlock the genius within actually my son and I we were actually just at the food court and then we starting this um, um, mental math training program in the summer right and I said well we have to get some flyer and do some work and then I say well it's unlocking something I don't know what it is and then my son and I we just came up with that genius within so how is your son Michael doing what's he up to these days oh yes um, actually he um, yes he only uh, yeah he, uh, well these days he's actually totally financially independent he's turning 26 this year but two years ago he had um he made enough money on his own and also is online um that he moved to lift in uh, toronto on his own yes so so i'm happy for him because um uh, to me i always feel the benefit from that training right has got him to where it is because all the way like from university he actually went to um, um, uh, McGill University and during that time 
I like seeing things in Copenhagen. Actually, he, <laughs> I don't really give him like, you know, those spending money. So what he did was he make his own spending money online. So, but when he graduated, like uh, uh, two, uh, four years ago, actually, he moved back home and stay with me for two years and during that time I just watched him he just see different opportunity and yeah. he would make his money and then he moved on to others but it's the response time like because what he does anything uh, opportunity that he does it, it has lots of it it's deal with numbers right yes and then I just say can you show me like you know all these are but because he knows where to find the information right all these charts and flowing and it's like I, I, I barely can see the stuff, but he already, right? I, I think that it's in his, uh, that's his normal. But I told him, you know, because he was trained when he was six years old. I'd say it's not normal to people like, so for him, uh, even up to high school, he told me what he see when people say numbers, like say I would say 36 minus 12, da, da, da. People would have the three, six and the mind, like, one two in their head in order to do numbers no for for him he see the abacus speed so it because he's seeing the patterns and right, the patterns. That's how information moves so it's so quick right and the response time and we what we also train uh children on high speed listening high speed listening is a technique that was developed in japan and the founder of ABS Abacus Brain Study, what he did, he incorporated that into the Abacus training program and he also put it in the high speed listening for the English teaching program. It's just that we're not offering the English teaching program here in Knoxbridge, but the technique, I believe that, like, because um, I have children that cannot focus, you know, they, they, they look this way, that way, but with the high speed listening, I don't know how it does that, but they focus, but it, it just in time right. you will see the um retain like uh, their attention span like go uh longer and longer. So, right. so that important. makes sense, right? Yes. Good. So that's awesome. So people need to look for you. They can come to abacusuxbridge.com and yes. get your contact information. Yes, and because of COVID nineteen, now I have experienced and and tested out the online. Um, a platform right. to actually we can now like deliver like after COVID-19 I would be looking in delivering this online platform with a teacher as well right. right online it's combining the two and we can now benefit a lot more people and re before like so the after school program is only a very small like chunk of time that we have right. available to benefit children but now I just thought oh the west coast they're three hours behind so now right? you can benefit now you can extend right? yes and then when you start thinking about other country that's even larger because actually abacus um uh program it's international uh abs abacus brain study belongs to pama global and they have international competition every year and most of the time is in asian country and now in the middle east they also have uh participate in this international competition and toronto toronto was supposed to host we were supposed to host the international competition in july they, they already booked the facility but it has to be canceled right oh, that's it, was, too bad. it was almost 14 years ago that it held in toronto when my son right. did get the opportunity to participate hopefully next year hopefully. they would yeah put it in like yeah for toronto so you're right, Annie, there's lots of opportunities now if you start thinking about your business model. I was speaking with a client yesterday who mm -hmm. delivers arts, arts and drama to school mm -hmm. students, right? And now right. before this, her customers were the schools. Now her customers are the parents and now she can do it all over the world, right? Yes. Thank yes. you. Yes. So, so I, I'm actually happy, like, because the, the, the issue I had before was, like, it's getting parents or someone to buy in to test out that platform, right, like the online platform. I actually have existing students that have been, like, the parents been driving 45 minutes each week. Oh, wow. I'm talking location for almost seven years now because she has two kids. <laughs> no, they don't have to. So, yeah, because I've been delivering. I thought, oh, my God, we saved both of us saving so much time because I was able to deliver exactly what I would um, even uh, face. 
That's amazing. Right? So, so I got really excited um, uh, to do this um, because otherwise, like, because some people might not even buy into that uh, method. You know how. Um, even on Ontario, talking about online education, they, like there are resistance to it, right? But it just now maybe more people would at least listen. The to, barriers are gone, right? Because there was this mistrust or they're not sure or it's ambivalent. So now that's gone because you've got to do it. Yes. You we actually try it out throughout like this is now four weeks or five weeks. I don't know. <laughs> like whatever. I, I lose track of the time that we Seven weeks. Seven weeks. <laughs> Seven weeks. Oh my god. I haven't lost track, but that's okay. I think there's lots of opportunities. So I wanted to keep the interviews fairly short so that we can, you know, entertain people and get them thinking about how they can perhaps pivot their business, um, let them get some inspiration and also have an opportunity to get hold of you. So Annie, thank you so much for the interview. It was lovely to chat with you again. Thank and, you. Uh, you know, wishing thank you the best of luck in your business. Thank you. Thanks, Annie. Take care. Yes.